Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform image recognition by using several AWS services and we'll be using services like AWS Lambda, AWS Recognition, which is the API that will tell us whether something is a pizza or a hot dog or whatever. AWS SNS or Simple Notification Service to send us messages. Amazon S3 to store the images. And finally, Python for programming. So what are the steps? First of all, I will be creating an IAM role with recognition, CloudWatch and S3 access for my Lambda function. Secondly, I will create an SNS topic that will let me notify myself with email whenever there is an upload and image recognition is done on an image. We'll then create an S3 bucket and this is where we will upload our pictures. And finally, we will create a Lambda function that will have the logic to perform the image recognition. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here in my IAM dashboard. What I'm gonna do is click on roles. I will create a role. And for the AWS service, I'll click on choose Lambda because we're trying to give Lambda the permissions to access various other resources. I will say next permissions. And in here, I will find three different things. I will find S3 access. I'm going to give this a S3 full access. I'm also going to give this a CloudWatch full access. This is for monitoring purposes. And finally, I'm also going to give Recog or R-E-K-O G, which gives me Amazon recognition full access. This is the machine learning API. You know, this is where the image recognition happens. So once I have that, I will click on next review. And I have S3 CloudWatch recognition. And that's what I have as a requirement. So I'm going to give this a name of recognition S3 CloudWatch, copy the same thing to to the description box and I'm going to create a role. Once I have this role ready, I have completed the first step. Now I'm going to go to my second step, which is to create an SNS topic. All right, so I'm going to create a topic and in the topic name, I'm going to say image recognition SNS, create a topic. All right, so once I have that topic, First of all, what I need to do is that to send messages to people, I need to subscribe to the SNS topic. So first of all, I'm gonna create a subscription. I'm gonna put in my email over here. Um, first of all, I'll choose the protocol as email, endpoint as my name. So I'm gonna create a subscription, all right? So what you need to do at this point is you need to check your email and confirm the subscription because you just can't start sending e emails. Why don't you go ahead and check your email and confirm the subscription. Once I have confirmed my subscription, a window like this should come up where it will say subscription confirmed. Now if I go back to SNS and refresh right here, then you can see there's no pending confirmation. So I'm ready to go now. So at this point, I can start creating my S3 bucket. I'm gonna create a bucket. The bucket name will be image recog lambda, something, something that you like. I'm gonna say next, um, next. Now everything will be next here. I'm gonna create a bucket. So once I have my bucket created, I'll move on to step number four and that's to create a Lambda function. So I'll move on to my Lambda function now. I will be creating a new function, so create function. In here you get three options. 
I want to select the middle one, which is the blueprints. Now blueprints are pre-configured templates that can act as a starting point for your Lambda function. So you don't have to do a lot of work. A lot of work will already be done for you. So in the search box right here, I'm gonna search for R-E-K-O-G, just enter that. And I should get a box saying recognition Python and Amazon S3 trigger that uses recognition APIs to detect faces. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna click on it and uh, ignore this warning. In the name, I'm going to say my recog lambda once again. Now in the role, this is where I choose the role that we created earlier. So if I click on here, I'm going to choose an existing role. And from here, I'm going to go to recognition S3 CloudWatch. This is the one we created earlier. So once I choose this in the next box, there will be uh, S3 box right in the bucket name I'll choose the bucket that I just created earlier and that's image record lambda that's the bucket name and the event type I want to leave it as object created all so let's leave that as it is the prefix I'll leave this empty too in the filter pattern I want to leave this as empty too but you can do something like dot jpg so that only files with ending in .jpg will trigger the Lambda function. For now, I'll just leave it empty. All right, so make sure that you enable the trigger, right? Enable the trigger now. After that, you will be given some code in here. Just click on create function. All right, congratulations. You'll get some kind of message. All right, so once I have the function, I'm going to click on the toggle full screen and now all I'm interested in this code is detect label so I'm just gonna delete the lines 16 to 18 also line 29 to 33 I'm also going to delete all these green text so I'm also gonna remove this now this where it says main handler is where the actual work happens. So, so far in this code, what we have is we've imported some of the things that we need. And the important thing here is we have instantiated the recognition um, API, the recognition um, service, right? So I've said recognition equals bodo3.client. Bodo3 is the Python SDK. And I'm saying I wanna instantiate recognition service. So in the handler, what's happening is in the try section, it's basically calling a detect faces function, passing in the bucket where we upload our image and the key or the name of the file. So like I mentioned earlier, we're not interested in detect faces, we're only interested in detect labels. If you scroll down, right now, detect labels right here is commented out. So I'm gonna uncomment the response for this and I want to comment or delete the first two lines after try. I'm gonna also delete lines after the de detect labels. Right now, I'm just saying detect labels in the image that triggered this function, right? And it will print the response. And if there's an error, you know, it'll throw out an error saying error processing from bucket. At this point, I think I'm ready to test out my function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my function. Once I save this function, what I can do is I can go to my S3 bucket and in here I'll click on upload. So I'm going to upload an image with some fruits and I'm going to upload. Now that should have triggered the Lambda function. Now the way to test if it if it worked or not is to go to the lambda function and click on monitoring and go to logs and since we allowed s um, cloudwatch access to the lambda function we can you know log our results in cloudwatch so i'm going to click on the logs and i can see that it printed out something in the labels it printed out confidence of 99%, name of flora, food, it's given us fruit, 
it's given us plant, it's given us produce, it's given us raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, and various things. And looks like it worked because it's given us all the names of the fruit. And let me show you the image file. So this is the image file that I uploaded to S3. Now, we only have done half of our work. The main thing that we want to do is to send ourselves a message you know of the content so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my lambda function in the configuration i'm going to scroll down to the main code area so now once we have something working let's try doing something more and i'm going to go to the SNS documentation for Bo23 and to instantiate the SNS client in my Lambda function, I'm going to copy this from the documentation. So copy and I'll paste this right below the recognition. I'm going to go back to the documentation and in the documentation what I'm interested in is to publish a message. So I'm going to go to publish. There will be an example to publish a message. I'll, I'll copy this. I'll bring this back to my Lambda function. So right after the print response, I'm going to paste all this and I'm going to delete the message attributes right away. I'm going to delete the message structure. I'm going to delete the phone number. I'm going to delete the topic ARN and I'll clean this a little bit, get them in the same line since we don't have many things now. At this point, I will save my function just because I don't lose the, lose the progress if I mess up. After this, I can choose a subject like uh, image labels or uploaded image labels. And for the target ARN where it says string, I'm going to go back to the SNS topic. I'm going to copy the ARN. Um, I'll paste that back in my target ARN and save once again. Now when we pasted this piece of code here, it was called response. And we have something that's already called response. So I'm quickly going to change this from response to message. Right now we have a dummy message of just string and subject of uploaded image labels. So at this point, I think I can um, try out my image upload. I'm going to go back to the S3 folder, S3 bucket. I'm going to upload another image, this time of a chicken. So I'm going to upload with all the default option. And now you should receive an email with a subject of uploaded image labels and a message of string. So the next thing that we do, make sure you check your Gmail. And after that, what we want to do is we want to, uh, you know, whatever response we get from the, the image recognition, we want to clean that up and send only the labels on our email. So final thing that we want to do is um, I want to go to my CloudWatch and take a look at all the response that I'm getting, right? So looks like inside of labels, I'm getting things like confidence and name. So all I need to do is to take out the name of the label if the confidence is more than certain percent. Or if I don't want to check for the confidence percent, I can just take the name of the label. And for that, okay, so I just pasted a few things, a few lines of code in here. And the first thing that I do here is I initialize a variable called to send that will act as uh, the message to be sent to the user or to ourselves. So it's empty now. And I'm going to say for label in response of labels, this is, um, you know, when, when for each item in the response that we get here, right and inside of labels I want to say print the name and confidence and add that 
to this variable as well. When I do that, then I'm going to save my function and I'm going to include this in the description uh, of the video. So don't worry about the final code. Uh, if you just get an idea of what I'm doing, you should be good when you look at the code. And you have to make sure that you change the message in the message to to send, right? This is the same variable that we initialized and added each time. And you should be able to get the message whenever you upload a file to Amazon S3. And if I go to my S3 bucket and I upload a um, picture with a hot dog, then let's see what happens. Okay, at this point, well, you should get an email with something like this. Uh, it says food is 98% and hot dog is 98%. Now you can clean this up as you like. So that's how you do an image recognition with Lambda and S3 and recognition and all the other services that we used. Um, so to quickly review, what we did was we created an IAM role we created an SNS topic, we created a S3 bucket, then a Lambda function with the blueprint, and we just made some changes, and uh, we were able to send ourselves an email whenever someone uploaded, or whenever you uploaded an image to your S3 bucket. And so that's how you do it. I'm gonna post the code that I used in the description of this video, so um, check the code and try to get this working for yourself and check out my other videos i have a lot more videos with lambda functions how to monitor lambda functions and a lot more other aws videos as well in my channel thank you and bye bye